Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here having my coffee with all of you. Um, I told you about the problems with my phone, so I'm hoping this will work. I don't know that I'll be able to really edit very well, but I've taken some clips of some various things over the last day, and I want to share them with you. Um, first of all, Lena and Guy visited from Red Road Homestead, and they dropped me off a beautiful birdhouse from another homesteader nearby, and... Um, uh, guy play serenade me. Oh, and you are going to love this. I'm going to share that with you too. Mr. Lucas has some great news about his, well, at least the Leghorn. So I'm going to share that with you. And, uh, at the end of video, I will tell you that I have a new neighbor. He's just getting ready to, to move in there. And for now I'm going to call him Mr. T. So I'll share with you a little bit about that later. Look at, we've got four eggs. Four eggs from Mr. Lucas Leghorn. He just got them out today. We haven't been checking every single day, but I don't know if you can see, they're doing it like way back behind, underneath there, uh, not in this little underneath nesting box. The roof. Right. Yep. So, what do you think, Mr. Lucas? Are you happy? Happy. happy. Yay! <laughs> they are pretty good sized eggs, too. So. They've probably been laying one a day for the last four days, and we just didn't see them. So that is so awesome. <laughs> hey, guy. Hey, Lena. I'm not showing your hair. Yep. No, show my hair. They dropped by today, and uh, they dropped off this beautiful birdhouse. It was made by, who is it? Tommy. Shepherds Off Grid. Homestead. Homestead, yeah. There we oh, got it. man. Would you look at that? That is gorgeous. I'm going to have to find the right... I mean, it looks great right there. But honestly, I don't think the birds will come here because, you know, Judy, she's... Oh, she just barks and barks. I have to put it up on maybe like a log or a something. A tree or, or something, like maybe over yeah. there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll have to tell them thank you. That is beautiful. He's very talented. Very talented. Those things, that would sell for a lot of money. He's selling them out there. Is he? Yeah. All right, well, I'll have to make sure to link up his channel. Thank you, Tommy! Okay, guy, what you gonna play for me? Howlin' Wolf, Smokestack Lightning. Right on, I wanna hear it. Where did 
judge who been here since I've been gone. Why can't you hear me cry? Woo, woo. Never see you no more. Why can't you hear me cry? Woo, woo, woo. Oh, yeah, you got some chops, man. And even the chickens love you. Look it! They all want to come meet you now. You rock, guy. Thank you. Right on. <laughs> okay, it's getting late, so I'm going to try and wrap this up pretty quick. This video will be pretty short. But about my new neighbor, Mr. T. Well, I met him previously. And, um, well, first of all, how I discovered I have a new neighbor is there was a white truck parked up kind of like at the end of the road near the turnaround and they were just parked out there so I thought hmm I wonder if they're looking for a dog so I put Papa on a lead and I walked him over there and there was a gentleman out there looking around his property and I said I hollered at him and um you know he looked at the dog and looked at me and whatnot and I'm like is this your dog and he's like no I've got a Doberman or something like that um and then I got a little closer and I recognized him this guy <laughs> The first time I met him, he had pulled all the way up my drive in his truck. And y'all know how much I do not like people pulling up on my drive. I don't like it. I don't care who you are. I don't care, you know, if, unless you're law enforcement or emergency personnel. And these dogs are playing with each other. It's awesome. Um, so he pulled up and I kind of went out and looked, looked at him. And he got out of his truck. And I'm like, <laughs> giving him totally giving him the stank eye and not being a very good Christian and not very charitable I like who are you what do you want and he was asking questions about a lot or something I didn't know anything about the lots and I was feeling cranky and um so I was not very nice to him I says I have no idea what you're talking about um but generally this is private property nobody pulls up on my you know up my drive unless they're invited and <sighs> it was just not one of my finer moments. Well, um, so I recognized him and I walked up to him and I apologized. I said, sir, aren't you the, the guy who pulled up that my drive that one day and was looking for directions? And uh, he says, yeah. And I says, well, I, I apologize. It was very uncharitable to you. Um, I just, I'm not used to people pulling up my drive. Everybody pretty much knows not to do it. And, um, you know, because I, there's safety issues with that. You know, I don't want people pulling up my drive, you know. Um, that one, you know, skinny white chick with the long blonde stringy hair pulled up. And she, it turns out she's a she's a crackhead. She's a dope head. Everybody knows who she is in the neighborhood. And uh, so, yeah. All right, settle down, guys. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so this guy is an older gentleman. And uh, I'm going to call him Mr. T. And because T is the first letter of his last name. So we talked for a little while and he bought the land. He bought it outright. He bought it from the same person who I bought my land from. I didn't even know there was land for sale. And he's already done quite a bit of work over there clearing it and doing stuff. And so tomorrow he's supposed to pull his trailer up. So, uh, and he was very proud in the back of his truck. He had this homemade wood burning stove and it's quite a wood burning stove. So, um, you know, I just said, <laughs> apologize like 50 million times and whatnot, and uh, told him once he gets situated, you know, if he needs any help, of course, I'll extend myself to him. And he says, I'm going to be out here chainsawing. I says, well, if it's a good day and if I'm in a good mood, you know, I might come over and help you. And he says, well, I'll pay you. And I says, nah, nah, mister, that's not the way it works out here. So um, I hope that hopefully he'll let me introduce you to him because I think he's going to be a good neighbor. And so he's going to buy some more land up on the other side for his sister. And there's another stretch of land real close to mine. Um, he might buy that stretch too and just clear it all out and make it all nice back in there. So um, 
yeah, I met my new neighbor, so I think he's I think he's gonna be awesome. Anyhow, what else? Uh, yes, I have an appointment for Papa at the vet, and hopefully nobody claims him. Um, he's just settling in here more and more. Um, he's over there giving. I mean, they're both on the the big doggy bed that I made, and just loving on each other and playing with each other. He comes to him when I call him, so that is very, very good. Um, and I'm going to be heartbroken if I have to give him up to somebody, but you know what? Got to do what I got to do. Um, my phone, like I said in that community post, there's like cracks all over it. And this is a relatively new phone. And so when I had it out in the rain, some of the moisture got into the cracks. So there's like different spots all around where the touch screen doesn't work. So I have to kind of... Luckily, this, the stop recording button is, n I, I can stop the recording, but trying to edit in the different places I have to punch on the screen, it's just not working. I have to keep turning it, and um, the editor that I use only works in uh, portrait mode, so I mean, there's just no way that I can accomplish a lot of the little things I have to do, so this video is not going to be edited at, at all. It's just clips and, and I, I'm not turning anything, so hopefully it won't turn out too bad. So anyhow, uh, I think that's all I got. I got to say, oh my gosh, you guys have totally torn up that bed. That's okay. Well, you know, Papa has finally gotten up on the bed. I'd film them right now, but you can't see it because it's, it's too dark. Um, so I'll keep you updated. Hopefully my phone will come tomorrow. It's supposed to come tomorrow, so I may miss a video, you know, a day or something. I don't know. But I will definitely let you guys know one way or the other what happened to the vet on Friday. And, um, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.